Hi everybody, Teddy Dupay here, uh, taking a little break from the office today. As you can see, we, uh, we're doing great. Uh, anybody that wants to know, uh, I'm doing incredible. Things have never been better. This got started a couple of years ago. I've just been on fire ever since, having the time of my life, doing all the things that I like to do. Um, something somebody asked me the other day, good friend of mine back from Five Star Basketball Camp, way, way back when I was a youngster. And I was having all that success. And he, he called me the other day and he goes, you know, I'm coaching a kid's team and I'd really like to implement the Frank Morris numbered fast break. For those of you that don't know, the Frank Morris numbered fast break has revolutionized the game of basketball. Coach Morris, the best coach ever, rest his soul. Um, he was a football coach. He was at St. Agnes High. He was my college coach, Billy Donovan's high school coach. How ironic is that? But the uh, administration at the school didn't really love him, um, so they made him the basketball coach. Never played basketball. He was kind of a short guy, even shorter than me. And so he put in a lacrosse offense. He gave people numbers. So many of us now today know people as a one, point guard, two, two guard, three, four, five. It wasn't very long ago. Even think of Larry Bird versus Magic Johnson, where you had two guards, two forwards, two centers. That's how we learned the game. The game has changed. I'm going to show you inside information about the Frank Morris numbered fast break that nobody else in the world understands like me. I don't say that to pat myself on the back or to have a big ego. I'm telling you that God's honest truth. If you want to win basketball games, put this in. And I'm going to show you right now. The numbered fast break is all about the four second shot clock. If you run this properly, you should get a shot up before the defense even gets back. If the defense does get back, you're playing at a pace and a level that they don't practice at. It will make them uncomfortable, and it will wear them down. If you can put pressure on the defense every single time, that's what you should be doing. So here's let me show you something. There are certain points on the floor that you guys have to learn and remember. Here's our court. Here's our half court. Here's our circle. Here's our sideline. Here's our sideline. Here's our key. Here's our backboard. Here's our Foul line extended. Here are the positions on the floor. Now, remember, in this video, it's flip-flopped. That's just kind of the way it works. I'm going to draw it as it is, how it works on the board. Remember, though, when I'm on the right, it'll look like you're left, I think. I hope I'm right about that. Very first thing to remember is when the ball goes through the hoop, people talk about transition game in basketball. Transition's not offense to defense. It's not. Transition happens three, four, five, six times in a split second. You've got to train your guys to play at a fast speed. Practice like you're going to play. Practice like you're going to play. And I'm going to show you what to do here. But when the ball goes up and it leaves the shooter's hand, that's transition. You're going from defense to it's a loose ball. Yes, it's on the way up to the rim, but it's a loose ball and it's anybody's. Two things can happen. Either they can miss and you can rebound and you're into the break I'm about to show you, or... The ball goes through the net, you take it out, and you're into the break that I'm about to show you. There is no way you guys shouldn't be running this every single play. The very first most important thing is our five-man. This is the five-man spot. It's a box outside the lane. Nobody should ever take the ball out under the basket, and you really shouldn't take it out on the left side. Again, it might be flip-flop. When they get it, they're on a direct line to here. They're getting out of bounds with both feet. They're throwing a two-hand athletic pass to the one man. This is the one man spot. Free throw line extended. One man. Don't cheat up. Real good ball handers. Point guards that like to handle up. They always like to cheat up in here. Stay wide. Get it up the court. As the ball goes through the net, or as the ball is secured, not when it's in the air, no cherry picking guys, the two man is going to run on a full all out sprint to the half court tee. I call it a half-court tee because it's a tee. There's an intersect there. His only job or her only job, I've got a 9- and 10-year-old girls team right now scoring 75 points a game, six-minute running quarters, running this. They're awesome. You'll hear about them. We're here in Tampa crushing it. I'm proud of them. But you're on a full run here and then up the lane. Our number one option is a pass to the one, an advanced pass to the two. Now, if you guys will really think about it on defense, most people do the thumbs up defense transition. Shot goes up, it goes in, we're back treading like this, thumbs up. And every single defensive person usually gives each other a little high five, slap on the butt right here. This is the lane that defense comes back to. 
We know that. It's natural. That's what people do. We're getting outside the lane. The key is to get him to push so hard that the defense runs extra hard back. Okay? The key for the three-man is to run the left side to a full court tee. Uh, that line's not even straight enough. Straight to the tee and then up the court. If you can banana it a little bit, that's fine. But the key is to get spread here. If I'm running the high pick and roll and it's a half court set and we walk it up and we lollygag it up and we call one, 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 everybody gets to their spots. We are running a full court play. The play is to get the ball out of bounds in and up and score. The four man, so this is your three man spot. The four man has a lane right here. And some people like to run their five. Oh, you're the five man. Listen. If you want your big athletic guy running the floor, he's the tallest one, make him the four-man so you have consistency in what you're calling. The five-man takes it out, okay? Your five-man should be a good athlete. He should be able to throw it all the way up the court, but he should also be a good ball handler and somebody that can score because he's going to be trailing the play. This is a great pass to the one. Two is covered. Boom, advance pass straight to the four, cut into the lane. You're going to get a lot of dunks that way if your team can dunk. So let me go through this again. Very, very, very important. Each one of the spots. We've got our court. We've got our, can you guys see that? Yes. Boom. Up the sideline. Boom. Boom. Our defense is here. Thumbs up. Our five man is getting outside the box. Throwing a two-hand, hand behind the ball, two hands, and following through right to the one man's chest where he should be sitting with his butt to the sideline, meaning his back is to the sideline. He can see up the court. He can see what's going on where he can catch it, advance pass it, or catch it and dribble through the middle of the court. Never dribble up the sidelines, one man. If the pass isn't there, you're on a beeline dribbling because great players play in the middle when they have the ball. That's just the way it works. Great players play in the middle. But that's where all the defense is, and we're going to beat him down. The three-man is on a full all-out sprint. Of course, the two-man first to the two-man spot at the half-court tee. I don't care if the two-man contests a jump shot in the far left corner. You don't run the lazy lane. You do your job. You sprint all out. You fill the lane. You put pressure on the defense. The three-man to the three-man spot through the half-court tee and up the floor. The four-man has a lane outside the key. That's where the defense is. The four-man's on an all-out sprint, bananaing just a little bit, looking over the top, and then surfing across the lane. Don't come post up over here. God, you're not Hakeem Olajuwon. Post up right here. And when I say surf, just think of somebody surfing. You're going to be down, you're going to be balanced, and you're surfing, trying to get somebody in your butt. If the ball's over here, there's nothing wrong with posting up over here. You got your guy sealed on defense, boom, we'll throw it right to you and you score. Guys, I can't overemphasize. This should take four seconds. Keep in mind, when I was in high school, I averaged 40, 42, 41.4 points per game, eight-minute quarters, real good competition. We were 6A. We traveled everywhere. I went out to the St. Louis shootout, broke Penny Hardaway's record, went back the next year, broke it again, okay? I have got the record. 3,744 points all time. Nobody's going to come close to that. That's my record. I got to do it. And so I put all that time. And it's amazing how easily things come to you when you work your butt off. I worked and worked and worked for years and years and years. And I got to the end and I was ready and I was good enough to play at that next level. But I made mistakes that prevented me from getting it. This 33-year-old guy, I can say that. It's not easy to say. Couldn't say it before, but I can say it now. Got into the business world, and I think I just sort of expected, as did everybody, that it would come easily. Overnight success takes years sometimes. I've been working on this. My business is incredible right now. I'm helping kids. I'm doing this. I'm coaching basketball for fun. I'm not the coach. I'm going to coach. I'm helping out. I'm doing stuff like this. If you guys have more questions about the numbered fast break, feel free to ask me. But the only reason I was able to achieve the type of numbers and success that I had during the games, that amount of points, was because we played at such a fast, incredible pace. I had freedom. I practiced. We were incredible. 
So I hope this helps you. I hope it helps your team. And anything else I can do or anything else you guys want to learn about. Got a lot of basketball IQ up here. I hope you ask me. Send me an email. Teddy at teddydupay.com. Things are going great. Glad to help you. Take care.